Ой, что ты не Brother, I'm seeing alcohol here. Yeah. Will you drink? No. Huh? No. You have got friends who are drinking? Yeah. What are you doing with them? I beg your pardon. What are you doing with such friends? Because I'm seeing alcohol around you. You have got friends who are drinking? Yeah, I don't... You know what, I don't remember because... When I was young, there was uh, the guys who used to drink. But I still see alcohol around you. You are facing problems. Huh? Exactly. Because of your association. My name is David Magalanchechi. I'm from Tsagani. Yeah, the prophecy was, th was true because uh, I used to hang around with uh, the friends we used to drink a long time ago. Um, things were very bad uh, and uh, now I'm no longer be with those friends. Yeah. And the man of God spoke about these friends drinking alcohol. Yeah, yeah they, I used to, to hang around with them. Even though some of them are no longer you know, contact with them, yeah. It happened it happened long time ago. Yeah. But how are you feeling right now? Is I believe that the man of God for him to reveal that maybe it's because of the root cause of your problem. How are you feeling? I'm feeling relieved because uh, when the man of God uh, speaks something, yeah, the ease are the the answer. You know, I'm very I'm very uh, grateful for that. Where's your girlfriend? Huh? She's in that side there. Huh? That side. She's that side? Yeah. Your girlfriend is... Yeah, in that side. Is that side? Yeah. Yes. When did you start to be with her? It's a long time ago. Long time ago. So when are you going to marry? I, I, I try it, man. All things. Huh? It's not moving well. I can't hear. I'm trying to... To pay lower, Everything but Everything is failing. You don't it's have failing. money. It's failing. I want to pray for you. You will do it. Eh? Yes, Papa. Eh? Yes, Papa. Let's call her because she's giving up. She has it that side. Where is she? Uh, Mama Jude. You mean Jeep? Yeah, Jeep. <laughs> no. You call her Jeep? No. You call her what? Mama Junior. Julie. Junior. Junior? Yes. Mama Junior. Mama Jeep. Yeah, she's coming. You heard Mama Jeep. <laughs> she's giving up. We need to encourage her. It will happen this year. Yes, Papa. It will happen before June, eh? Amen. I will tell you why I'm calling her. Yes. Uh, I'm telling you, she's giving up, giving up all the time. Mama Jeep. <laughs> so, see, you are giving up on the issue of marriage, isn't it? Uh, you think it won't happen. You see, yeah. look at this. Can you see? Look at her. Can you see that? Watch that. Can you see a demon now? Now you understand why she's giving up. Yes, this is a demon that is telling her many things. <laughs> uh, I'm David Mashawa uh, from, uh, from Mozambique. Uh, the man of God is telling me the truth that uh, I'm trying to pay over, but uh, things are difficult to me. I'm trying all the way, but uh, things are difficult. You know? How, how, how is it affecting? 
it's affecting me. It's special and financial. Uh, it's difficult. Yeah, it's difficult. Not, uh, I don't have much way to say that, but it's difficult to me. Yes. Did it result to you wanting to go back home? Yeah, it's so difficult to go home, but I'm tried all the way. God makes me a way, give me a way to to go home and come back again. But to to marry is very hard. Yes. But how are you feeling as the man of God has spoken and? I'm feeling comfortable because I believe in the in the ways of God. So that God, when He's spoken something, something is going to happen. <laughs> Where are you sitting here? I almost didn't come today. I yes? was late. I was very late. You're very late. Yes. Last week. I was working. You're working. Yes. Uh, you need to pray. Eh? Amen. You must not take everything light. Amen. Since you marry, uh, <laughs> since you marry, things are started to collapse like this. Amen. You saw that? Yes. Huh? Yes. It's like you know when people were celebrating you, they were also giving you curses. Amen. You understand? Amen. So we need to pray. Let's pray. Amen. Mm. Yes, I, I can. Con this morning when I woke up, there were so many rats huh? attacking me in the dream. In the dream. Yes. You must pray. When you call people to come and celebrate you, expect attacks. Mm. You Amen. Understand? Amen. Yes, my name is Ndate uh, I'm coming from Standerton. And the prophecy that I received today, uh, the man of God just looked at me and said, why am I sitting where I was sitting? And I told him I was late and he said, How, what about last week? I told him last week I was working. He said, ever since that day when I got married here in church, there has been challenges in my life. That it's like the people that I invited to, to celebrate the wedding with, they brought a curse with them to the wedding and ever since then everything has been going down and I confirm that prophecy to be true you know to, uh, it hasn't been going well uh, to an extent that um, even today when I woke up in the morning I woke up uh, I remember the dream that I had in the night of so many rats attacking me and after you know after that I didn't feel like coming even to church and eventually I prayed I just woke up and prayed and prayed and after praying, I said I'm going to church no matter what time it is. So I came here, I arrived here at 3 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thank God that I made it. And I believe that today it is the day that the Lord has made for you. As after you have been blessed, instead of rejoicing, you have been discouraged by the things that have been happening, which I believe have brought also doubt. How are you feeling right now that today you know the root cause of your problem? Well, you know, I feel very free, you know. The Bible says whoever the Son of Man sets free is free indeed. And I believe today by coming here I'm delivered. And I'm so happy that I know, you know, that uh, our, uh, the man of God even advised me and said, you know, this is now the time to pray. So, and at least he gave me ammunition. Now we have things to pray against directly. So um, I believe that God has done it for me. And I will stay, I stay strong in the faith. Amen. Why are you doing this? I think... Sister, I think uh, you. Where is the brother? Where is the brother want to marry you? No, he didn't come today. He had to eh? go to work. Eh? He didn't come today. So how you be? Why are you doing like that? So you know he's complaining, eh? Yes, I know. Huh? I know. Did you tell that one? Yes, we talk. We talk. Yes. So why are you doing this? You want us to prophesy you this? I don't want to prophesy that. Because he's complaining. Okay, and he's no longer prophet now. Okay. Huh? Okay. So you want to leave him? No. Huh? No, Dad. What are you, why are you doing this? Can you speak? Can you speak? Daddy? Why are you doing all this? Because you people here, you will end up not getting married. You will fail to marry if we carry on in this state. In fact, in my heart, I was saying I want to see you 
and sit down with you and try to guide you. Because this is not good for you people. Huh? Daddy. It's not good for you. You understand? Yes, Daddy. Huh? So why are you doing that? Why always arguments, fighting? Yes, Daddy. I don't huh? know. I really don't know. I try to figure things out, but I don't huh? know. I really don't know, Daddy, what is causing them. So you must, you must learn to humble yourself. Okay, Daddy. Go and humble yourself. It's okay, I'm humbling myself. Okay. Okay? I believe I will marry. Okay, it will, Daddy. It will happen. Amen. This thing does not need me to sit down with you and him, this, that, no. God then says, okay, I'm sorry. Even himself will say, he's sorry. And it will be end. It will end. Okay. Eh? But there's too much problems in him and you. You understand? Yes, daddy. So reconcile. God loves you. Okay. So. Can you see? Look now. Can you see that spirit now? Can you see the spirit there? Go away from here. It's a spirit, this thing. It's a demon. My name is Connie. I'm coming from Centurion. And then I confirmed the prophecy that I got because it was accurate. Why are you saying it's accurate? Because everything that the man of God mentioned was accurate, is true, and it's happening. What was really happening? Yeah, we've just been having fights. We don't even know where they're coming from. It's just a small thing, a fight. And then after the fight has happened, nobody knows where it even started. And the man of God spoke about you wanting to... He asked you, do you want to leave him? Were you having any thoughts of leaving him because due to these fights that you were having? No, not at all. That has never crossed my mind. No. And after the man of God has spoken unto you, you got deliverance. And the man of God said, this is the demon that has been making this man that wants to marry you to complain. Were you aware that you're having a demon? No, not at all. I just knew that there is something wrong because, what can I say, we are always happy. So whenever the fight happens, I can see that this is not normal. Amen. Yeah. And how are you feeling right now as the man of God has spoken unto your life? I'm feeling so relieved because actually when after he spoke to me, I just remember I was falling down and then the whole of my left part, I felt like needles are coming out. Even now I could actually still feel it. So I feel so relieved now and then I know and I believe that everything is sorted now. What can you say to other young ladies out there who are in relationships and things like that are also happening to them? What can you say to them? Prayer always solves everything. Actually, today my prayer was that daddy can locate me and then so God can intervene in my marriage. So prayer is the answer for everything. You want God to use you, eh? Isn't it? I can't hear you. Eh? I can't hear you. You can't hear, you don't hear. Yes. Your, your ears are not working. Your ears are working. Not properly. They are not working properly. Eh? Yes. They are blocked. Yes. Come to me. Come. How long? It's been almost five weeks now. And you want God to use you? Yes. Eh? Yes. And uh, you can't hear. So your ears are blocked. You want God to use you? Yes, I want God to use me. So it, it, is it, is it, it shows that it's Satan who's attacked you. How is he going to hear you? I mean, how are you going to hear for people? How are you going to hear these people? So let's open this ear. Stand up. Stop there. You are free now. Can you test your ears. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can, can you hear clear? Yes, I can hear. So you are free. Okay, uh, my name is Azong Simnyamela. I'm from Ivory Park. Uh, yes, I got the prophecy today. I've been, I've been praying for years that God he should use me so and then 
the man of God today he prophesied about it and I feel good about it. He also spoke about your ears. Yeah, immediately when he came to me, I I just became you know blank. I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't hear anything, and I was so surprised, shocked. I was confused. I didn't know what was going on. And how was it affecting you? Yeah, it was affecting me bad because sometimes, oh, like the ear thing, I, I've got plus minus five weeks now. I couldn't sleep. You know, all I know was pains. I could feel pains. But now um, I'm, I'm fine. I can, no more pain. I can hear. Sharp. God loves you. Eh? You are tired. Eh? Yeah, and there's now, there's a suicide spirit that are always following you. Amen. Because of the condition you are going through. I want to give you courage. God loves you. This year, God will open a door for you for a job. Amen. There's a job that is coming to you. Amen. Don't give up. I'm just here to cancel this spirit. Don't kill yourself before time. You are free. Okay? I'm Ronat Baloy. I'm coming from Malamlele in Lipopo in the village called Mlamola. Now I'm staying in the Sport then. Uh, I just come here for the visit to, to, to attend the service. The man of God spoke to you? Yes, he spoke to me due to the situation that I have went through because from around 2016 I've lost my, the mother of my son. So after those things, things become terrible. I'm trying to sort out some of the things, but it's not, not coming to the solution. So these are some of the things that are happening in my life. And also having things of allergetic, but I'm trying to figure out what is calm, what, what is the causes of it. I try to attend, to go to the clinic and to, 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 to find out what's happening. So I try to use all the medication and buy all those stuff, but nothing changed. How is it affecting you? Normally it affects me seriously because I'm coming to be aware and likely to understand what's going on with my life. How could such a things happen into me? Because normally I try to commit myself before the Lord and try to save God with all my best and try to have the ear that I can hear God. How are you feeling? I'm feeling better. You must be careful. Eh? You understand? Your life is mixed up. It's true. Uh, yeah. I nearly said you're a criminal when I look at you there. Because the devil has mixed up your life. It's true, man uh, of God. Huh? It's true. And uh, there are many things you know. And, uh, even when you are here, sometimes your mind is not in the church. It's true, man huh? of God. It's true. So, you need to accept Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Mm. Because there's also a, a spirit of stealing on you. It's true. It's not true. It's true. Let me touch you, but you need to accept Jesus. Even if I won't tell him anything like this, this man will just say, ah, church, me, why they didn't see me? It's not true. It's true, man of eh? God. It's true. Because you will, you will begin to say, ah, is this man a prophet or what? He can't see me. If you can't see what I was doing before, and look, look at my life, if he's a prophet, he will speak with me. So, I'm not a prophet, eh? I'm a child of God. You are free. My name is Nakirim Kalusi. I'm staying in Tambisa. A uh, man of God told me that uh, I'm looking confused and uh, I confirm that is true. What were you confused of? No, I've been uh, through many things. That's why I end up being confused just because I'm struggling to overcome my problems. How did it affect you? Uh, uh, I'm sometimes spending my time thinking about it, how to get out of that problem. That's what I'm struggling to, in most cases. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling a little bit better as I'm speaking now. Yes. Yes. I don't know how I can tell you this, but God loves you. Eh? Amen. Mm. Sometimes I see you scratching yourself. Like Amen. Eh? Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes, and, man of God. And this has been a problem to you. Yes, man of God. And since you start to scratch yourself, but I won't mention where. Yes. Since you start to do like this, your life is mixed up. You're right, man of God. There's a disappointment. 
you went through. Yes, man of huh? God. Yes, you're right, man of God. Let's remove this thing that is trying to bring bad luck on you. Amen. I you're free, you're you. free. You're free. Okay, my name is Meta. I come from Lebahomu Zone A. Yes, the prophecy that man of God told me, it's true. Yes, I've been seeing, I've experienced a lot of disappointment in my life. And that disappointment has affected me. But then I thank God for being delivered because I'll start to see changes. Disappointment in which area? In the areas that he spoke about in terms of scratching my body, stuff like that. Yes. What was really happening? Uh, I, I don't know how to put it. Like, But then just that I've been experiencing problems like in the areas that he has been saying which areas did he let me say in my marital life for example because the disappointment that he's talking about i think is the one that has to do with my marital life for example my relationships with people yes and how were they affecting your life they affected my life in a way that like i've been just uh, having disappointment from disappointment and how are you feeling right now as the man of God has spoken unto your life? No, I feel relieved because I will start seeing changes and I thank God for that. Why are you here today? I just came to attend. You Since just came to attend? Yes. Eh? Yes. But you were supposed to be somewhere. Yes. Huh? And, uh, you just came. <clears throat> I want to pray for you. Eh? Huh? I'm seeing a baby. It's like there was a baby and something wrong happened. Okay. Yes, huh? man of God. Yes. I can't hear you. Yes, man of God. I'm talking about a baby. Yes, yes, huh? man of God. You remember? Yes, man of God. And then what is happening now in your womb now? Uh, I used to have severe period pains. Serious pains, no? Yes. yes and you don't know the cause of those pains? No. Man of God. Remember the baby? Yes, man. You're free. My name is Balisa Nklapo, yes. and I come from La Etembisa. <laughs> but I don't live here anymore, so. I live in Middleburg. I'm supposed to be in Middleburg today. So what happened is I just decided to come to church today, which is here. <laughs> so the man of God spoke about me and the baby, which I've been suffering from severe period pains before. And I've, the prophet is not the first time I heard it. Um, it's a second time now. So he's confirmed what has been said, of which I, I am nothing. I'm engaged now. So we want a baby, but we haven't been having that baby. So I didn't know the cause of that. I didn't know why. But the man of God did say that I did have a baby, but that baby was flushed or miscarried and... It's How did it affect you? It affected me a lot because so it's because of the period pains or what? Yes, I think. How are you feeling right now? I feel relieved because I can say this year is the year of favor for me because a baby has been spoken about so much and God, man of God has just proved. Yes. Thank you.